Hello my dear students, welcome to my physics class. Our today's topic is Diagnostic Instrument MRI. Let's start now. MRI. At first, we will know what is MRI. MRI means Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Magnetic Resonance Imaging or MRI is a medical imaging technique that uses strong magnetic fields and radio waves to generate images of the organs in the body. That is MRI is a medical imaging technique. In MRI, strong magnetic field and electromagnetic wave that is radio waves are used and by using strong magnetic field and radio waves image of the internal organs can be obtained an MRI scanner is a large tube that contains powerful magnet because in MRI technology strong magnetic field is used so a large tube that contains powerful magnet that is MRI scanner contains powerful magnet MRI does not involve x-rays or the use of ionizing radiation which distinguishes it from CT scan we know in case of CT scan x-ray is used but in MRI there is no use of x-rays or any other type of ionizing radiation this is the main difference between CT scan and MRI. Most of the human body is made up of water molecules which consist of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. We know most of the human body is made up of water molecules and water molecule consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And in a hydrogen atom, there is one proton and one electron. There is no neutron in hydrogen atom. So, in hydrogen atom, inside the nucleus, there is only one proton. At the center of each hydrogen atom, there is an even smaller particle called a proton. Protons are like tiny magnets and are very sensitive to magnetic field that is in hydrogen atom there is a proton and protons are like tiny magnets proton acts as a magnet we know moving charge acts like a magnet so protons act like a magnet and very sensitive to magnetic field when a strong magnetic field is applied, the protons are aligned in the direction of the magnetic field. By the application of strong magnetic field, protons are aligned in the direction of the magnetic field. Then if an electromagnetic wave of definite frequency is sent, then these protons receive energy from that wave and change their direction this when strong magnetic field is applied the protons are aligned in the direction of magnetic field after that if an electromagnetic wave of definite frequency is sent then these protons receive energy from the wave and sense their direction and this is known as nuclear magnetic resonance or nmr When the radio waves are turned off, the protons realign. This sends out radio signals which are picked up by receivers. These signals provide information about the exact location of the protons in the body. That is, signal from, returning signal from the protons received by the receiver and 
this signal provide information about the exact location of the protons they also help to distinguish between the various type of tissue in the body because the protons in different types of tissue realign at different speeds and produce distinct signal that is protons from the different type of tissues send different type of signal that is from different types of tissues protons produce distinct signal therefore structure of different types of tissues can be seen clearly by mri analyzing the signals returning from the hydrogen protons inside the water molecules present in the body with a computer mri machine makes make images of the internal organs that is the signal from the protons are received by the receiver and analyzing this signal with a computer mri machine make images of the internal organs mri scan procedure during an mri scan the patient lies on a flat bed that moved into the scanner here this is the bed and the patient lies on this bed and this bed can move uh, into the scanner depending on the part of the body being scanned the patient is moved into the scanner either head first or feet first that is depending on the part of the body scanned the patient is moved into the scan either head first or feet first the mri scanner is operated by a radiographer who is trained in carrying out imaging investigations they control the scanner using a computer which is in a different room to keep it away from the magnetic field generated by the scanner that is the scanner is controlled using a computer in a different room to keep it away from the magnetic field generated by the scanner the patient will be able to talk to the radiographer through an intercom and they will be able to see him or her on a television monitor throughout the scan if the patient feels any discomfort they can talk to the radiographer through an intercom and the radiographer can see him or her on a television monitor throughout the scan at certain times during the scan the scanner will make loud tapping sound noises that is a loud sound is produced from the scanner this is the electric current in the scanner coils being turned on and off that is the large tapping noises are produced when the electric current in the scanner coil being turned on and off the patient will be given ear plugs or headphones to wear because there is loud tapping noises produced by the scanner so the patient will be given ear plugs or headphones to wear it's very important to keep as still as possible during the mri scan the scan lasts 15 to 90 minutes depending on the size of the area being scanned and how many images are taken that is depending on the scan it can takes 15 to 90 minutes that is a very long time is needed for this imaging technique and we know in case of ct scan only 5 to 10 minutes is enough but here 15 to 90 minutes so it is very long time imaging technique uses of mri an mri scan can be used to examine almost any part of the body that can be done using ct scan including the 
brain and spinal cord, bones and joints, heart and blood vessels, internal organs such as the liver or prostate gland. That is the image which can be obtained by CT scan can be obtained using MRI and difference between different tissues can be clearly seen by MRI compared to the CT scan that is images of tissues are more cleared obtained by MRI than the CT scan safety an MRI scan is a painless and safe procedure as x-ray is not used in MRI there is no risk caused by radioactivity we know always there is a risk of radioactivity how much the radioactivity is small always there is risk but here in case of MRI there is no use of radioactivity or x-ray so it is safe MRI cannot be done if there is any metallic instrument example pacemaker inside the body because the radio frequency wave can create dangerous situation by heating up the metal so MRI cannot be done if there is any metallic instrument because it is very dangerous.